Um, excuse me. Huh? Hi, Musa. I'm glad I finally get to meet you. My name's Jarrett. I'm a specialist in training at Red Fountain. Uh, Saladin sent me here to learn about your simulator. I'll be writing a paper on it. Right, and uh, how do you know who I am? Well, uh, catch you later. Mm. I saw you at the opening ceremony at Red Fountain, and I asked about you. Why? Well, I guess you and your friends look kind of cool. And who did you ask? Riven? <laughs> he said you were nice, and if I wanted to meet one of the Winks, it should be... It should be you. Hey, listen. I'm sorry if I said something wrong. Oh, uh, um, no, you didn't. I'm the one who's sorry. Really, I was just mad at someone else. Why don't you come with me for a ride? We could talk a bit. You can trust me. I, I don't know. The thing is, I need to interview someone who's been through the simulator. Well, all right. <laughs> oh, now that's <laughs> gossip. Time was almost up. And so I launched a sonic bomb and blasted the lock open. You know, the simulator room is a great place to work off stress. Palladian even said that... Are you really writing everything down? I'm afraid I'll forget something. I've got to get back to Red Fountain now. I had a great time, though. Me too. Do you think we could, uh, like, maybe meet again tomorrow? <gasps> we could go, like, um, on a date? Hmm. Thank you for the flowers. They're very nice, but I just want to be friends, okay? I don't want to give you the wrong idea. No, no, it's okay. Friends is cool. I'll see you soon, okay? Magics to Musa! Come in, Musa! Hey, guys. How's the homework going? Not so good. We can't figure much out. By the way, who was this guy? Huh? Just someone from Red Fountain. So, where did oh, he take Stella. you? What did he say? Where's he from? What's his specialty? Did you two kiss? Oh, you are so uh -huh. nosy! Huh? Do you like him? Is he cute? It's not like that. Maybe you're thinking of someone else. Someone whose name is Riven. It's not a your business! Well, am I ever glad I'm not working with you on our Convergence assignment? It's true, though. She likes Riven, and we all know it. Did you ever think she might not be comfortable talking about that? That's her problem. My sweetheart and I have absolutely nothing to hide. It's so easy. Well, I think we should get back to our homework. Or we could have a fashion convergence between a grab purse and a pair of Ponyx boots. Uh -huh. Let's hit the mall. This is what we needed to spend some time together. Just us girls, no boys or anything. No way. Stella, I can't believe you just said that. Well, when they're not here, we could talk about them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with Jared. Come on, Musa. we want to know. Does he tickle your fancy? Well, no. That's because you like Riven, isn't it? There's nothing between Riven and me. Oh, yeah, right. The thing is, I don't think Riven could ever be interested in a tomboy like me. By the way he looks at you, or doesn't, rather, he obviously is. You know how I got together with my Brandon? <laughs> Let me guess. Hey, girls, I'm the best fighter in the world and the best-looking guy in magic. Who wants to be my girlfriend? And you just fell at his feet. Actually, he fell at my feet. I feel pretty dumb for all the trouble I've caused you. I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault. You think we could see each other again? Sure. I don't see why not. I'll say hi to Riven for you, okay? Thanks. I'm glad you understand. Oh! Oh, sorry. I guess I got a little carried away by the music. 
<laughs> That's okay. Actually, it's great. That was my mother's favorite song. She used to sing it to me when I was little. Uh, hey, uh, what's that wonderful sound underneath the tune in that song? That's the sound of the singing whales of melody. The whale singing keeps the whole planet in balance. The whale's song reminds me of my mother, and how happy we were at home on Melody. You really miss her, don't you? Always, but especially today, because... Uh... Oh, man. I'm really sorry, Musa, but... Uh... I've gotta go. What? Y yeah, I, um... I'll talk to you later. Riven! Oh, man. What was that about? Weird. Where did he run off to? You know, sometimes I just don't understand him at all. I think we're getting along great, and then... <gasps> what? Musa, what's the matter? <gasps> <gasps> oh, that dog! Oh. I'm sure there's a good explanation. Well, well, I'd like to hear it. Hey, Techna. Maybe you should try a little FaceTime with Timmy. We prefer texting. It's easier to talk to each other. <gasps> no! <laughs> You really need to look someone in the eye to know if they're being straight with you. I mean, what if there's another girl or something? <laughs> Timmy wouldn't do that. You're right. I'm sorry. Forget I said anything. Your fairies, I know it's true. Ah. I am a prince, so never you fear. Listen, dear fairy, and fly over here. The quill cat is friendly. I know him. Uh, hmm. When I was young, it used to come and visit me every time I sang my song. I think I've just found someone who can help us. Hello? <laughs> Three, four, five, and six! They are six! <laughs> Excuse me. My friends and I were wondering if you could help us. <laughs> we would like to find a quill cat. 
There are posters of him all over the forest. They say he's magical. And we are very interested in magical creatures, so... No problem. My name is Orlando, and I'll help you. Musa. Hi, Musa. <laughs> Hmm. Is the village uh -huh. very far away? <laughs> it should only take as long as a song. Through the forest always you fly. Oh, please don't flee into the sky. Winged creatures, what are you? Your fairies, your fairies. I know it's true. And you, Musa? You really are a... Uh... A fairy. It's time we finish your show, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> and then it was time for the fairies to leave the village <laughs> and return to their magical realm. It wasn't only the fairies that saved the kingdom. It was the prince's sweet music and remarkable courage as well. Hmm. And for those magical creatures that were lucky enough to be touched by the prince's true heart, they would never, ever forget him. <laughs> Magic Station. Stella can be so obnoxious sometimes. She makes me so mad. I can't stand it. Ugh. See what she makes me do? <laughs> now I'm talking to myself. <laughs> What's over there? He should have seen the look on his face. He was totally out of it. The witches are having a party? No, this can't be true. You see? <laughs> Riven is with Darcy? You're a very special person, Riven. It's too bad, though. What's too bad? The fact that, uh, your talent, your energy, your ambition and courage should be wasted at Red Fountain. You could be so much more. If you were one of us, you could be even more powerful. Mm. Go on. For us, all that matters is knowing that we can count on you. The rest will come all by itself. You see, we don't like the little girls who call themselves Winks. We don't like their friends either. Mm -hmm. We agree on this, don't we? But as of today, you and I will be together, <laughs> bound by magic. Well, well, look who's here. Why, it's one of the little fairies. Please, not today, okay? I don't feel- Not so fast. Where do you think you're going? Back to Althea. No, you're not. Huh? First, we want to know, why were you spying on our friend Darcy? I wasn't spying on anyone, especially not Darcy. Trust, I see, to recognize a spy when she sees one. I bet you were watching Riven. You've got a crush on him, don't you? Leave me alone. Silly girl. <gasps> You know, the other day, Riven said that he thinks nothing of you. Ha! Huh. Absolutely nothing. Huh? huh? Ouch! Oh, she slapped me! She slapped me in the face! Whoa! I can even see the prints of her fingers! Does it hurt? Of course it hurts, Dunny! I'm so sorry, I see. I didn't mean to hurt you. You! You are going to pay for this! Hey, you! Fetch the others. We need to teach this little Winx a lesson she won't soon forget. What do you want to do? Yeah, what's wrong with you, Icy? You need backup to fight me? I don't want to fight, sweetie. I just want to give your facial attributes a little magic treatment. Hey, girls, want to have some fun? Icy's going to teach a fairy a lesson. Let's go. Don't run away, Musa. It's useless. <sighs> Let's drive her up the wall! <sighs> ah. Ah. Oh. Oh. Oh, stop it! Stop! Oh, Riven, help me, please! Um, 
why should I? There she is. They're after her, and she's stuck in a dead end. <gasps> We're gonna have to move quickly. Uh, uh, oh, no! Okay, now what do I do? I'm trapped! Looks like you've reached the end of the line, fairy. <laughs> You're gonna be tough. With me, too. <laughs> you wanna play rough, huh? Well, if that's what you want. Come on, girls! Ha <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh, this looks bad. Let's transform. in there, Techna. How cute. Frozen lovebirds. <laughs> no! Pathetic. Ah! I'll squish you like a cockroach! Huh? Musa! Whoa! Way 
do you think you're going? Step aside, or... Huh? Who is this? Could she be... Uh, it's her! Understand any of what's happening? I haven't a clue, Sky. <sighs> Bloom. Oh. How are you feeling? <sighs> Much better, thanks. Well, with such loving care, how could you not? <laughs> oh, please, Stella. And how about you, Musa? Everything's okay now, Sky. We're approaching Alfia, Brandon. Are you sure you can walk back, Bloom? I mean, you still look weak to me. Yes, yes. It's better if no one sees us coming with you guys. Uh, if you say I so. I still don't understand how you managed to single-handedly beat three witches. I don't either. Well, if nothing else, I have learned something important today. You finally discovered that I'm always right, is that it? No. Never stick around where witches like to hang out. Musa, you've got to admit I was right about you and Riven. Even so, I saw him in action today, and I think he's lost every bit of charm he ever possessed. One thing's for sure, I don't ever want to see him again. He's become a real jerk. Uh, uh, you admit it? Admit what? I didn't say anything. Yes, yes, I was right. I was right about you, and I was right about Tecna. And about Bloom. About me? What about me? You know, you and... Oh, oh um, nobody. Right, Stella? Uh, um, yes, right. <laughs> I think I'd better shut up now. <laughs> <laughs>